Hey guys, welcome to the GM's table, and I am so excited right now. If you recognize this shirt, it's because it was in a bunch of my RPG A Day videos, because I just finished recording them. When you see this, that was like three weeks ago, maybe two weeks, but this is really big. I've been waiting a month for this to happen, and not, oh, for RPG A Day to finish. It's, it's August 19th right now. That, that's not what it is. I've been waiting a month to get a package in the mail. It's this package. All right. I, I blocked out some personal info because I don't want to just throw my address up. I think that's completely fair. But what is this, you might ask? Well, you see, this is Dungeon in a Box. And... I found this, I found this product, God, like, probably about six weeks ago. I messaged them, and I was like, hey, th this thing's really cool. Uh, and if you're not familiar with these kind of things, it's kind of like RPG Crate. Now, the thing is, is RPG Crate is about 34 bucks a month if you buy a bunch of them. I'm actually on their site right now. I want to double check the prices because I want it to be completely fair, but we're going to do 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons. They do offer Pathfinder now, which is cool. I'm an extra large shirt. This won't have a shirt. We're going to get into that, but no extras. Continue the checkout. Yeah, $39 each if you're buying just one box. $39 a piece plus shipping. Dungeon in a box. Is about 27 bucks a piece now they're cheaper but i think not just that they're cheaper but what i really appreciate with them is rpg crate and this isn't knocking rpg crate hey if anyone at rpg crate is watching this get in contact with me i do love your guys' stuff but it's the closest thing i have to compare to rpg crate you never fully know what you're gonna get you'll probably get a hardcover adventure you're almost always going to get a t-shirt, and everything else is kind of loot crate where you don't know quite what you'll get. Maybe you'll get some pins, maybe you'll get some like cool coins. Who knows? Dungeon in a Box is supposed to be the same stuff every month. Now, it's not identical, but what I mean by that is you will always get an adventure. I believe it's paperback. You will always get two detailed minis, unpainted, I believe. You will always get a sheet of flat plastic minis for, like, goblins, wolves, stuff like that. You will always get either dungeon accessories or dungeon tiles, and you will always get a map. The thing I think is the absolute coolest, though, is the adventures are also written in a way so that they're a continuing story. So you get one month, and you finish that adventure. When you get month two in, the adventures can all be run separately. But month two is supposed to be part two of the bigger campaign. So Dungeon in a Box is also essentially a 12-part campaign every year. I find that really, really cool. I haven't gotten great contact with them. It's been iffy with Gen Con and stuff going on. But I do believe you always start with the first one for that year and it cycles till you're done and then you go to the next one. But with that, we're going to crack this open. Because I'm talking a lot about it because I know about the product. Because I was really interested in the product. But I haven't opened it. Uh, they got in contact with me about three days ago. We were like, hey, sorry it took longer to get this out than we thought. Because we got tied up in Gen Con. About two, three days after they emailed me, though, the box actually showed up. Gonna, I hope this isn't awful on my audio. I'm going to try and open it over here. Oh my god, I might need scissors. This package is super there we go all right my audio is not going in the red Ooh, ooh. i'm not gonna lie i already really like this i i'm not like oh we're gonna start doing unboxing videos but god it, it's cardboard but oh that's that's nice that's spiffy all right it's a hinge lift what do we got we got, oh, I tapped my mic. We have our adventure. 
Yeah, like I thought, paperback. You know what? I'll take paperback for my adventures. I'm fine with that. I like the old TSR paperbacks. Caravan in Peril from the Secrets of Greenwood. And they are specifically Dungeon in a Box adventures. I will say, RPG Crate, you tend to get like Frog God Games and stuff. Not, not that they're bad. They're actual other publishers. Dungeon in a Box, you're getting their adventures. You're basically subscribing to an adventure path with other stuff. Yeah, I'm just, I'm flipping through this. Uh, I might review this adventure as a separate video, but, you know, full color interior. It's not anything crazy long. Yeah, it's 22 pages. Ungle Ogre. And I love that it's on the back, whatever the big bad is, because if I am not liking this adventure, I'll just slit that off and have that as a card. Yeah, this, oh, and this also tells me what the box has. It's the adventure tells me what the box has, so really I can keep the boxes together. So this box includes all the following. I'll just go through this. Caravan in Peril, Secrets of the Greenwood Adventure number one. So yeah, they're campaigns you're basically buying. Caravan Camp Encounter Map. So I, this was all stuff I was assuming, but now I know the map is specifically for this adventure. Flat Plastic Character and Monster Token Sheet 11 Tokens. Flat plastic mini acrylic bases. Love it. I'm going to get into flat plastic minis. Terrain tiles for forest encounters. Five double-sided tiles. That's actually a good bit, guys. Two or more blind box 32 millimeter scale miniatures. So the detailed miniatures are blind box. So you don't know who you're going to get. We're going to look at those, though. Secrets of Greenwood Adventure Tracking Calendar. Two sealed envelopes with legacy cards oh man legacy cards i don't know if you guys know about that it's usually for board games legacy cards are usually cards you only ever play once when you ever play a game and they're in sealed envelopes oh that's awesome so what are my minis because there's the next one up here i have arthrand nightblade ranger oh he is he is seriously cool i'm not gonna lie He's a good classic ranger. He has a long bow while also getting ready to, like, draw. Probably a short sword. Fully cloaked. I don't tend to do minis painting, but Bones miniatures are supposed to be pretty good about that. Who else do I have? And I have Damien Hellborn Wizard. Oh, I freaking love this guy. He is a tiefling, and he's casting. Like, the, this came from beliefs of witchcraft and stuff so it makes sense but he's basically like a tiefling rock and roll wizard he's just going yeah i love this dude i freaking love this guy and it, like the tail is between the cloak and him so like the cloak falls and there's the tail so i won't worry about the tail snapping but he has a full tail oh i freaking love these these are awesome all right oh oh okay so it's one envelope they said sealed but it like i guess you seal it yourself or maybe this one just didn't get sealed okay i'm gonna read these ahead of time again legacy cards you typically like burn after you use them veterans of the long road you've made a journey few dare to take and it picked up a couple trick and picked up a couple tricks while you were at it a member of the party may gain advantage on a nature or survival check. This benefit can be used once per long rest. Oh my god. These are boons I just give a player. Their legacy more in like, I'm only ever going to give this out once. This character has it. If this character dies, so goes the ability. I will probably be like, uh, keep the ability. Especially if these are in everyone, I can make a deck. I can make a deck of boons. All right. Stolen pride. The party gains the trait. The party. The party gains the trait. Thieves stole from us on our watch. We won't let it happen again. A member of the party may gain advantage on one roll related to stopping a thief. This benefit can be... Oh my god. I get to just go. Thieves stole from you guys. But now you have this. Now you have this card... Who, who's the one that's going to, like, really take this seriously? This is part of your character's story. If I were playing an in-person game, I'd be like, yeah, pay a close bet to your character. Damn, that's cool. 
and this is a wax. So it'll help keep moisture away from these things. That, I had no idea about these. These are really cool. I love these. All right, my flat plastic minis. Ooh. Ooh. I know I'm just geeking out, but here's the thing, guys. All right, it's one sheet. From what I can tell in the adventure, these are probably the minis for the adventure. Now, I'm not going to pull them out. They're snagging on the bag. I have all the bases I need. But first, if you aren't familiar with flat plastic minis, I love these. They're flat plastic. They stick in, and they're minis. But the front is not the same. The back is their backs. The front is their front. So you get really great detailed full color art in flat. But we have the this. This is what you want to use for the do at the end of the book. But I also get a great owl bear. I get some really cool, unique goblins. Uh, it looks like a werewolf, a merchant, or a bandit. And three, I get that might be a troll. So I either get three goblins and a troll, or I could do three goblins and a lead goblin. I could call him a lead goblin. I get a werewolf, and the wolf under the werewolf is the same color as him. So this is transformation. These two wolves aren't the same color. And then I get a. This is freaking awesome. All right. Oh, my tiles are in a little envelope. I appreciate that. The envelope sealed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to open this. Like... This is amazing. I'm not... The, I'm trying to do it where it stays kind of sticky. Because I want to reseal these in here. All right, where am I... <gasps> I, this sounds dumb. This is going to sound really dumb, but I have a horse. I always need this in person games if I run fancy. But they're also double sided. So I have treasure. But this, this is so useful because I can move it. There's always the centerpiece. Like it splits into the two by two. Oh, yeah. I have a caravan. And then I have an attacked caravan. Oh. Okay, so they want you to flip it this way. But still, this. These two right here? That's in freaking valuable. Okay. There. In freaking valuable for fantasy games. I'm sorry, but it is. Okay. Okay, so the number they have counts both sides, but that's fine. I got another caravan, so I can do I can't do all three, but that's fine because a wreck one shouldn't be with, but I can do two caravans, which is cool. The other side of this caravan are actually I'm gonna see if it can they're like obelisks, but they have these sweet runes on them. Like, I really like these. And then, you know, the striped caravan. But I like it because this one I could do is just like a merchant's way. I throw this plus that merchant and be like, hey, we have a merchant. Then we have, oh, hey, we have some rocks. There's a neat dungeon or neat terrain areas, but also I got a pit for outside. Most of your pit traps are like framed in a dungeon. I really like getting one here because I can just throw it wherever I want. Like, oh, yeah, there was a pit covered by leaves. I kind of wish the side was a thing of leaves, like a pile of leaves. Just make it a full functioning pit trap. But, you know, I still let also these are really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. These are like Wizards of the Coast. Nice. They're this nice kind of uh, almost a satiny finish on them. I, it looks like they got a decent amount of gloss with my light at, but this this is a recording light. This thing's super bright, so it reflecting is not a big deal. Yeah, they have a little bit of reflect, but it's, it, it tries to go for a matte type look. These are really nice, and they're they're sturdy. These might be sturdier than the game tiles uh, cardboard I talked about when I did those puzzle piece game tiles. Okay, yes, it's stuck. Good. All right, what do we got? We have the Adventure Tracker Calendar. So Adventure 1 notes. So this begins a campaign. And this is the Greenwood map. Oh, I'm a sucker for classic art style. So this will be the map for Greenwood. But also, you take the map, you fold it. Here's your calendar. And by calendar, it literally is Adventure 1 notes. And you add a legacy card each adventure. Oh, you put the legacy cards on here with, like, paper clips. That's cool. But what I really love is the other side. You guys probably saw it. When it folds, it's just this, like, banner poster, Secrets of Greenwood. I like this. I really... I'm not going to lie. I saw this and saw it 
flimsy and white. I thought this was going to be the map. Look at the map. Okay. So this is not uh, one of those maps you can write on. I was really hoping it was a map you could like draw on and erase. It's not. It has the same kind of finish as the cards, but it's obviously thinner. Is it? It is double. So ooh, 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 ooh! Talk about it. You, they really know what to do for the first adventure. Because talk about maps that are useful. Because first of all, this is just. Hopefully, oh, this is just you know forest clearing, useful map. I I do like this map and I appreciate this map. But oh hey, one of the uh, one of those like obelisk rooms down there. But the other side, the other side's what you paid for. It's a caravan campsite. It's a freaking caravan campsite. Now, oh, I put them back in. I do believe the wagons are not the same size. That's cool. Another like obelisk thing, but you see it kind of makes a face. But oh, I am a sucker for a campsite map. Because, like, that becomes the map. You don't need to draw on that. That's the map you pull out when they're going, crap, we're getting attacked at camp, aren't we? Okay. And that's it. That's the that's the bottom of it. Um, I guess I'll show. That's it. But when I see that, it, for 27 bucks, like, after shipping, it's about 30 bucks. You get your money's worth. I'm going to talk to these guys. I really, really, I had this idea that I want to go ahead and, like, run these adventures every month and do it as a thing. I may do it anyways and just pay them the money by me. Hey, guys, I'm interrupting my own video because Dungeon in a Box got in touch with me and they gave me a promo code. This code right here, TABLE, is going to give you 5% off your first box if you order from DungeonInabox.com. All right, I'm not trying to be a shill here. If you've been paying attention to this video, I obviously love this product. I'm doing multiple videos on this product before they got in touch with me. But enter table at checkout. You'll get 5% off your first product. And more importantly, well, I don't know, 5% is a good discount. But also importantly, they'll know you came to them from one of my videos, which is going to help the channel basically show, hey, we matter. Hey, people listen to the GM's table. And they go and buy stuff, which is really, really cool. It'll help us get more promotions. It may help us get more boxes to do more videos about and more gaming content. But again, table at checkout, dungeonandbox.com. Guys, I love this product. I'm just going to go back to the normal video, though. Our Savage Worlds players, we can convert the monsters real easy and the rest is all gravy anyways. The stuff that wasn't the adventure is still super freaking cool. And you have the storyline of the adventure. So this, I'd say this is good enough for savages. You'd have to tweak some stuff, but everything else is universal. I'm really happy with this. I would have paid 30 bucks for this. This thing is sweet. I love this thing. All right, anyways, I'll catch you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>